Good morning, people of YouTube. We are on the farm, Whistle Thicket. Uh, Tom here, if you're just joining us, we live in Western North Carolina, got about 20 acres, uh, maybe six acres of pasture, and then it turns into some woods there. Um, we got a couple big things happening today. Um, we're gonna hopefully finish some projects, start some projects, and uh, I'm excited about them. So I'm gonna show you the first one. This is the before. Um, this little area in front of our house, we have a fire pit here that I've moved. And um, I could do this with the tractor uh, and the implements, but it would take me a bit of time. Um, we got a guy coming today, hopefully, who has worked on a lot of our trail system. He's gonna flatten this area out and it's gonna be a hangout area. Um, I'm gonna have a fire pit here eventually, some nice rocks, maybe even a little gazebo, I don't know, maybe an outdoor pizza oven. So this is gonna be a good little hangout spot for uh, friends and family. And I, um, I'm excited about that. Um, I'm actually trading him an old lawnmower to do that. That'll be a couple hours of work. And he's gonna move a couple big uh, rocks for us as well. Then we're also, starting a trail that's going to link up to the rest of our trail system. So our property is at about 2,700 feet, the house, the top of the ridge is 3,400. And we have a trail system we're building up there for the horses and a future side-by-side -side for hiking, for foraging, but I need a better access point. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, over there, you might be able to see Smudge, our mini horse. Um, I'll give you a look at Smudge. Um, we built a gate in this far corner of our dry lot, and that's where a lot of our extra horse manure is gonna go. And from there, we're gonna build a trail along the side of the hill that's gonna link up to our main trail system. It'll be a much better access point for our trails. We'll be able to just get on the horses and ride. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm cleaning up the entrance and our trail guy is going to cut the trail. Hopefully today I'll be showing you the before and after for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, check out Smudge. I gotta move Smudge to the round pen and then I need to do a little bit of tractor work. find them in South Carolina and there's a family down there that has three or four young boys that are all like five to eleven and they train many horses for kids it's pretty awesome business that they got going um, our son's only a year old and he's been able to ride this pony sorry miniature horse he's not a pony he's a miniature horse um, he's been able to ride this miniature horse since he was about nine months old my wife found um, a special saddle for him um, from Europe. There was a mom in Europe that was a horsewoman and uh, she wanted her babies to be able to ride horses and she designed this really cool saddle. I'm actually gonna show you a clip of baby boy and mom riding his pony real quick.
Okay, I hope you people enjoyed that. We're going to put smudge up and then we're gonna do a little tractor work. So this area back here is where the horse manure is gonna go. And yes, we use some of the manure for fertilizer. We spread it in our pasture. Um, we wanna get a manure spreader, but there's just so much horse poop you can't use it all. Um, so this is actually some old horse poop um, that I put here. I need to push this aside. And then our trail is gonna go right in between this walnut tree and that locust tree. And this is really going to change everything. It's going to make our trails more accessible. Um, I harvest maple syrup for fun. It's like maybe I'll do it as a little side hustle. And this is going to give me access with a side-by-side, -side, which I don't have. But one day I will have a side-by-side. -side. This will give me access to the maple trees. Um, we also have a lot of locust logs up there, old locust trees that I could harvest for fence posts, maybe even make a little money off of those. So we're going to clear this horse poop and... Uh, get it ready for the excavator to uh, do its magic. Okay, it has been uh, a couple days. Um, I was hoping to get all this stuff going yesterday and, you know, it didn't totally happen. Um, I worked on this dry lot with the tractor a little bit and then the local guy working for us, uh, finish it up with the excavator he can do so much work with that excavator that the tractor can't do um and then we're at the start of our trail system here here's his little ex his, his little excavator and we got some locust trees mainly that i took down years ago for firewood and he was able to drag them and at least put them in a pile for us um this area again is a hill it slopes off but basically we're going to uh, enlarge this area, make it flat eventually when it's all done. And again, this is where uh, poop and such is going to go. Um, so let me show you, you the uh, start of the trail. Um, this is only an hour or so of work for him. Uh, so there it is, people. Um, he's probably about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 percent of the way done as far as the length so he has quite a bit to go he thinks it's going to take him uh maybe 10 hours to build this trail for us so uh yeah um there's a quick update and uh we'll see what else we can show you in this video okay so here's the front of our uh, house here and uh this was a sloping hill before and now it's going to be a future hangout area um, campfire ring we had that old uh, big rock over by the house and uh, I had it dragged over here because that's a perfect sitting stone um, I thought about putting uh, some railroad ties here but now I'm thinking I may have enough big rocks that I already have a seating area to hang out at so our campfire will go here the rest of this area is just flat so that we can actually hang out here. Maybe we'll put a picnic table here or something. Um, maybe a little gazebo or something like that. But this is another project that got started with the excavator. And now I'm going to be finishing it up this summer. Uh, I'll probably put in some nice gravel. I'm really excited to make this area 
a cool spot to hang out for friends and family. Um, now I gotta, I gotta take the bucket off the tractor and put the hay fork on it because uh, the whole reason we got this barn was so we could store hay bales long term. So our hay guys come in today with 14 or 15 bales. We're down to one bale. Um, that makes it a lot easier for us in the long run because we used to have to drive uh, an hour each way every two or three weeks to get two bales of hay in our F-350. So this actually uh, makes life easier in the long run. Um, it's just sometimes you gotta do a little bit of work all at once and it can be overwhelming. I, I totally agree with people. If you're overwhelmed with homesteading, that does happen. Well, it's been a few uh, more hours here and our trail has really gotten going in the woods. I'm gonna give a full tour of this trail. I mean, it looks like a road. I'm pretty impressed. This is a, an old side pasture that was kind of steep. It was hard for us to use, but now it's gonna give us access to the trails and it really changes a lot on the homestead. Um, so just stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Do, 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 do.